Hello class! In today's lecture, we are going to be discussing scientific pitch notation and its many implications in the world of voice science and vocal pedagogy. Where are you all going? Class is not dismissed yet. Please take your seats. All right, for those students who have not fled at the mere mention of the word scientific, let me explain to you what scientific pitch notation is and why it's something that you should know. It's not a difficult concept to learn and I feel as though in this day and age in which we have access to so much research regarding the voice, writings that use scientific pitch notation, we really should learn it so that we have a clearer understanding of what we're reading and many of you are asking questions about it. So let's say I'm talking about high C. A high C can have different meanings depending on whose voice is singing the note. A soprano's high C, considered to be the defining note for soprano voice type, would be located two octaves above middle C, whereas a tenor's high C, based on the highest note that's generally required in standard classical tenor repertoire, would refer to the C one octave above middle C. So in order to facilitate better, clearer communication, those who study and discuss the voice need to have some standard way of referencing specific pitches that's consistent across multiple disciplines and countries, a common unambiguous language, and one that is not as cumbersome as saying the pitch that is 261.626 hertz. So they use scientific pitch notation. Scientific pitch notation labels pitches with a combination of a letter from the musical alphabet and a number representing an octave. These pitches all have very specific fundamental frequencies measured in hertz that are associated with them, so there's no ambiguity, no second guessing. A4 is always 440 hertz. C4, which is middle C, is always 261.626 hertz. In scientific pitch notation, each octave is assigned a number of its own, and each octave begins on the note of C and ends on the note of B. This is where many singers get a bit confused. They think of the English alphabet, which begins with A, but in scientific pitch notation, the octaves begin at C. So if we look at middle C, which is labeled C4, the notes above it are D4, E4, F4, G4, a4 and B4, plus all the sharps and flats in between. When you get to the next C, that's the beginning of another octave, the fifth octave. But going back to C4, the note immediately below it is B, but it's in a different octave. It's in the third octave, which starts at C3. The C one octave below middle C or C4. So, it's labeled B3. In scientific pitch notation, middle C on the keyboard is designated C4 because of the note's position as the fourth C on a standard 88 key keyboard. If you have an electronic keyboard that doesn't have a full 88 keys, like my old keyboard here in this picture, you'll notice that the C in the middle of the keyboard might not be labeled C4. My old keyboard here has only six octaves, so the manufacturer has labeled the first C, C1, and the C above that, C2, and the C above that one, C3. Even though this C is in the middle of the keyboard and has a frequency of 261.626 Hz, making it the frequency of middle C, or C4. That's because the manufacturer is labeling the octaves according to how many there are on that particular instrument, not on the frequencies of the individual notes. And remember that it's really those frequencies that determine the pitch. So that labeling system may look a lot like scientific pitch notation, but it's not, so don't be deceived. I hope this clears up any confusion. So now when you're reading journal articles or books on the subject of the singing voice or talking about the subject, you'll be able to recognize scientific pitch notation when you see it and understand what it means. You'll have a clearer understanding of what's being discussed and will have a means of communicating more effectively with your singing teacher during lessons. But do let me know if you have any further questions on this subject. Thank you so much for watching today.